guys, I am Crystal Sky, and today we're going to do a first impressions, um, kind of like mid-review of Body Coon and Body Chan. These are the pale orange colors. I want to tell you what I got with them in the box and stuff so I can throw them away. So I can throw the boxes away and, uh, yeah. And I'm working on a review of them, so this is just kind of like a first impressions mid-review. <laughs> kind of. Um, so I got both Body Coon and Body Chan. Here they are. They're actually in their stands. I was actually using Body Chan for, ooh, for a comic slide, a comic panel. So there she is on her stand, and this conveniently comes off of the stand, so you can just use it like that. And then you can have the hand somewhere else if you want, but in the container you guys have seen a review of these you've seen them all um i got all the hands all these different hands here it's even an extra panel to put more hands i don't know if you can buy more hands for these characters or what um there's a sword a flip cell phone a tablet a gun a laptop and a stylus be careful that stylus is literally the tiniest thing on planet earth <laughs> so let me put this back in so i don't lose anything Super, you gotta be super careful not to lose anything in these. I have dogs and I'm so worried they're gonna like, I don't know, do something. Uh, so let me take Buddy Chan and Buddy Coon out of their stands so I can show you guys size and stuff. I actually took a picture of this, so I don't need to keep her like that. But I was using her for a comic panel. Her foot all messed up. There we go. <laughs> um, put the stand back here. The stands are pretty nice. I have had a problem with this part here falling off. One of the things, you just click it back in again, but it's really annoying that it keeps falling out when I tighten it too much. Then we've got Body Coon here. I haven't used him too much yet. Uh, like I said, I'm mid-review. So let me take him out of the stand. The stand feels more sturdy, actually. So he's got the same exact accessories, exactly. Same hands too, just bigger for guys. Okay, so here are the two characters. I haven't even changed his hands yet because I haven't been working with him a lot. I've been working with Body Chan a lot more. So here, are the, here they are side by side, together as one. <laughs> um, they're pretty small. My hands are very small. I have very small hands and she's about the size of my hand, right? He's bigger, obviously, because guys are bigger, but you know pretty small. They're really tiny. When you look at them in real life, they are super tiny. They just feel tiny. But their their range is awesome. My body coon actually has like this weird kind of like loose sound to him. I'm not sure why. I can't find anything that's wrong. He like moves fine, but I think it's one of the shoulders. He's moving weird. But the range is fine. Uh, Buddy Chan has the same kind of range of movements and stuff like that. I've changed her hands because the pose I was working on was a flight pose. So that's what I was working on with that. And they're, they're all pretty nicely based. Um, the circle in the middle of her back is actually a little bit askew. Which is a little weird, but his is in the middle, so I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys the boxes so I could throw them away because <laughs> they're taking up a lot of room. I'm not going to use them. The fact that the case here, let's throw this out as well. The fact that the case has a stand, is a stand, and has all of the accessories in one is super cool. I've been using Body Chan a lot. Let me, go sh let me show you guys what else you get in it. So you get the stands and all the pieces. And you just clip this on, but the co the cover is not really too reliable, so you don't really want to pick it up by the cover. You always want to pick it up by the, the base there with all the stuff in it. So on top of that, you also get a pamphlet for each. Hey, body Coon and Body Chung, go over here for a minute. You also get a stand for each, or a pamphlet for each. Um, these are just pose ideas, I would guess. Uh, let's take a look in Body Chan's really quick. Support posing. Um, cute ideas, gun pose, and then it tells you in Japanese what to do or how to take a step. You pose her, you keep her stood up, and then you take a picture, and it shows you all about the curves and the stuff that their bodies can do, how you can pose with multiple characters, and how you can turn it into a drawing. So that's really cool, and then like a bit of art. It's all in Japanese, and I 
understand I can read Japanese a little bit but not nearly enough in my opinion so yeah and there's all these different colors I choose I chose to get the nude color because you can see the shadows really really well I don't know if you guys can see on the character how well the shadows come out but I have a real big problem with shadows so that's why I picked them they were also the only one that Barnes & Noble cared so <laughs> I picked them uh, Okay, and then on the back is the finished art piece with another pose. So these are pretty cute. I might throw these out eventually, but I do like having them to on the front just shows poses. Let's take a look at body coons. A couple of poses, a running pose. That's kind of like a very narrow to a pose. You know, on a whack them maybe <laughs> they're on. Different pose and you take a picture about the body. These ones are even cooler. These are base sketches. It doesn't have this in Body Chons one. And then paint, <clears throat> color. And then all of these are in color. And then, of course, the poses again, the different colors. And then the pose, the picture on the back. So that was one of the things that came with that. Uh, they both came with this how to set up thing. How to take the hands off. There's, there's nothing on the back here, you can see. But the front has how to put the case together, how to take off the things. Be very careful when you take these off. Uh, I almost lost the stylus on the phone for Body Coon. I took it off on Body Chance and not Body Coons. So be careful when you take those off, how to put them in, how to get everything to fit. And then the stand was actually really hard. My mom helped me out with this because I just, I, I couldn't figure it out. I don't know. Everything else turned out fine, but the bot, the bottom portion here confused me the bottom portion of the stand here but anyway they both come with that just out for them so same thing instructions you know it's in all in Japanese but yeah you know, so there it is and I'm again I'm probably gonna throw these out and then they both came with these these are like cardboard grid paper I would guess for the background so you have like um, a perspective and landscape which is cool and maybe if you're taking the picture to have like a background that's completely silent instead of a background that has a lot of things on it um so these are cool i don't know how much i'll use them i've just been taking my pictures without anything but um i like the idea of it honestly okay so let's go into how i first started using this i've been working on it with body chan the most uh, i draw female characters about 90 percent of the time and I hate drawing males, <laughs> which is why I got both of them. But uh, I started out with Body Chan because I'm way more comfortable with using her and drawing female perspectives. So I took a picture and then I drew based on the picture. So some of my perspective is off and stuff. Let me move the stand somewhere else so that I can open the... See, the, the case, just the top of the case just fell off. So the cases are not super reliable. They don't really close too well. Anyway, so these are some of the poses here. Let me get up. I took all the pictures of my cell phone, and then I left my cell phone over on the other side of the room. Hashtag professional. <laughs> uh, so it does actually suggest that you take the picture and then trace them in Photoshop, which I haven't been doing. I've just been drawing from the picture. I did do a trace last night on my iPad. But it wasn't super, um, super clean. So here's the picture, and then here's what I drew. I think I did. I drew this from her just sitting there, and I didn't draw it directly from the picture. So these were just sketches of poses and stuff. So here's the pose here. I just posed her on the other side of my sketchbook, and then drew the pose. Uh, this pose feels very dollish. You know what I mean? Very stiff. I wanted to see how that would translate. And then we've got this cool pose here. Magikarp is a bit lonely, I don't I don't care. <laughs> uh, and then we got this pose here with a gun that turned out really cool. Like hand by hip. The uh, drawing here turned out to be really weird. <laughs> so in hindsight, tracing this one probably would have been better because it would turn into a better pose. That, look my scared face. Oh my god, what did I just draw? So that's, that's how I've drawn. I drew one in Photoshop and I'm not going to show you because then I'd have to skip to the computer. They'll be shown in my full review. I did take more pictures, 
Uh, this one was super cute. I have a whole bunch of stuff next to me on my desk usually. So I just propped her up on the desk, on the stuff on the desk and her feet were dangling down. I just put a laptop in front of her and had her hands like she was going to be typing. I love the way that turned out. <laughs> like it's super cute and she's got all her hands behind her. That's adorable. I also took this, took this one. She's kind of like running in for a hug. Kind of like an Ursula very big scene. Um, this is one of the floating poses I chose and I didn't really like the angle of this one so I went with this one instead where she's floating up. You can actually bend the toes. So like if you want to do like a pose where she's standing on her toes, like a ballerina would do almost, right? Maybe she's looking down. See, these characters are so easy to pose and they're great. I'd, I'd change the hands to both be um, kind of like white knuckling, but like this, right? Look at that pose. Like that pose conveys so much emotion. Right? And if I could get her all in frame. And of course you use the stand so that you can see all the emotion and it's not in the way. But yeah, definitely a very emotional type pose. And I did that in three seconds. Like, <laughs> these things are great. You have a full range of head movement here. Like this. And then there's a range of movement even here. Right? So there's range of movement everywhere. So anyway guys, I just wanted to do a quick, this is how I'm working with them type thing and I'm really enjoying it and uh, yeah. <laughs> you can actually tell with the hands, the two pale orange characters, she is like a lighter peach and she he is like a darker type orange. So you can tell the difference between the two hands and everything just looking at them so you don't actually have to like be this is label them or something anyway guys i will see you later i'm gonna go organize this mess of a desk and uh i'll sit, see you back here in a little bit with a full review hopefully